So I've been mobile detailing for a while now and one of the most annoying things about mobile detailing is having to unload and reload your car every single time you do a detail. You gotta take out all the chemicals, all the equipment, and all the stuff you have to work with out of your car so that you can work on the customer's car. And what makes that difficult is just lugging around all of the tools. Some of you guys might have a van that makes this really easy for you. I mean, you can just put a bunch of the chemicals on the door and you have all your pressure washer, you have a tank, you have all that stuff ready to go. But for those of us who don't, this is more for you guys who might find it annoying like I do to unload and reload my car every single time I'm doing a detail. So one thing that's helped me tremendously is getting detailing bags. And that's what this video is about. Where can you get some good bags on the cheap for your detailing setup? So you can easily take in and out all your chemicals, all your towels, all your hand tools, things like that. That just make, that'll just make your life a little bit easier when you do pull up to that detail and also improve the amount of time you're saving doing that detailing work. So um, I wanted to go over some of the bags I have that work well for me. First of all, the place I go for most of my bags is Harbor Freight because they're usually a lot more cost effective and you can get, you know, really not super nice things, but you can get things that'll work well for a cheaper price. And one of those is this big Bauer bag. This thing is absolutely massive and I have two of these, one to store a bunch of my tools and then one for my chemicals. The thing I like about these bags is you can just chuck a bunch of stuff in them, it'll hold it, and there's no issues with it. It's got pockets on the side for uh, you know little hand tools or things like that. I don't really store anything in them because most likely just gonna fall out. But if you have like smaller things, like maybe a scrub ninja could go in there or something like that. <laughs> then you know you can use those pockets for that but yeah i store like my wheel brushes hand brushes drill brushes all those kinds of things in there and i just throw it into my car and it's super easy to carry around and let me show you the one with all my chemicals it stores a lot guys they can get pretty heavy they're very solid bags i've had these for a year and it doesn't really look like any damage ha has come to them at all they've got a solid bottom okay that sounds kind of weird so if you have any like heavier things in there, it'll support that weight and not sag in that area. But the sides are pretty flimsy, but there is like a metal bar at the top. So you can close it as like a triangle or you can just you know leave it open. So there is some sturdiness to it. It's not the most sturdy bag in the world, but it's good enough for carrying around my chemicals and my detailing tools on the day to day. You know, it's also got a nice shoulder strap if you want that, I don't usually use it. It does have some options to it and they're really like 40 bucks, I think, but they're pretty cheap for like really nice carrying bags. They do what they're supposed to do. They carry heavy stuff and uh, they don't get destroyed in 10 seconds. So I just throw these things on the ground and look, it still looks brand new. Like, come on, totally trying to destroy them or anything, but you know, I'll just like get to the job site. Okay, maybe that was a little too much, hold up. Something like that. You know, I'm just like placing it on the ground. Nothing crazy. So I use these bags for, whoops. So I primarily, it's like I was saying, I primarily use these bags for chemicals because if the chemicals do spill, it's gonna be in the bag. So at least won't spill through the bag or anything like that. And I also use them for the hand tools. You could use them for microfiber towels, but I think these are a little too large for microfiber towels, so if you want to store the tools and the towels together, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but you could certainly do that. Instead of carrying like 20 different bottles and tools back to your truck, you're only taking two bags, a lot simpler. The next bag is the small one I have, it's a Voyager bag. Same company, or I got this from the same place as Harbor Freight. Um, I'm sure you could get a Bauer bag similar. It's very similar to the Bauer bag actually. It's got those metal chunks at the top to open and close, although I just leave mine open all the time. And then it's got a nice semi-solid bottom. It's three pad instead of one pad like with the Bauer. I just use this primarily for storing microfiber towels. And the reason I have a separate bag for towels is because then if I do have a chemical spill or you know, I'm using tools, all the towels are separated and so they won't get muckied up by the tools or chemicals that are spilling. I don't know how a tool spills, but you get my point. This little bag has been super nice for just chucking, you know, my drying towels, washing, hand washing, like all those different types of microfiber towels I use on a detail in here. It works well. I haven't had any issues with this bag. Since I'm storing only light stuff, there's really no damage to it. It's actually pretty clean. The last bag I got, and this is a new one. I got this because it was on sale and you know, it's brand new. I only have 
haven't used it yet. It's a polisher bag and uh, it seems like more like a cooler. It's flex, so we got Voyager Flex and Bauer. Building quite the array here. Not really sure why it's like coated in that stuff you'd see in like a cooler. Store a polisher in here or two and a bunch of pads and stuff. And I honestly don't really understand why this is a polisher bag. Like you've got room for your polisher for certain. You got these little straps for chemicals, I'm guessing. Polisher pads and polishing compounds. So it seems like it's got a, a decent amount of storage. And what I like about this compared to the Bauer and Voyager bags is that the walls are semi-solid instead of being like that flopsy just cloth. The bottom is, you know, about the same as the Bauer and Voyager bags, but it's got it on every side. It's a nice sturdy bag. It stands by itself, as you can see. Kind of like that. It's made in China, by the way. It does close off at the top. Although I never really close my bags. I just, I don't really spill them that much. I mean, kind of just a bag, like just put it upright and it shouldn't fall over. Anyway. It's important that you get bags that can fit your 16 ounce bottles, your 32 ounce bottles, and maybe even some gallons if you want to bring those. I don't personally do that, but it could definitely be an option. You also have your pump sprayers, which can be pretty large. You want your bag to be able to fit those comfortably and to not fall over. So that's something that you should definitely consider when looking at these bags. And I'll show you guys how they fit these different bottle sizes and kind of what your f capabilities are in terms of filling them with things. So you can kind of weigh, like, do I have enough space with this bag for what I need? So the first bag I'm gonna demonstrate is this Flex bag. It says it's a polishing bag, so I'm gonna try and get both my polishes in there, some pads, polishing compounds, IPA, just the kinds of things you would use when you're polishing a car. So I got my five inch polisher and a three inch one. I gotta say, I love this new tripod I got. This thing can Reach to the stars. I need a cord. I need some fat microfiber towels, some IPA. I do kind of like the straps on the side, how they're flexible, but it doesn't seem like it's attached that great, so probably will end up breaking on accident. Okay, so I got two polishing compounds. One's my fat one. It's a 32 ouncer, and then I've got a nice smaller 16 ounce, I believe, or it's 1.4 fluid ounces, whatever the heck ounces that is. Dream on. Getting a little difficult to fit all this. Maybe I just raise these up. You raise me up. This is looking pretty good. My clay bar, just throw that there. Oh yeah, polishing pads. Right on, right on. SPTA polishing pads, five inch ones. Wow, those fit like a dream. Whoops, and then I'll grab some three inch pads too. Bam. Now I got all loaded up with my polishing stuff. I'm just going to carry it around and see kind of how it holds up. If it holds up well or not, you know, that type of stuff. Wow. Yeah. Once it got a hermetic seal on it or what? So it's pretty hefty. Feels nice. One bucket army. I like this bag. It seems pretty sturdy, honestly. Like everything's gonna be just where I left it, feels like. Let's test. Yeah, dang, this is great. Everything's exactly where I left it. Looks good. So you can fit quite a lot in this bag and it does give you a lot of flexibility. So I'll probably just leave my polishing stuff in there, honestly, because I had nowhere else to put it. Let's say I have a detail coming up and one of the things I want is water spot removal. Now I can just load this bag up with stuff for water spot removal. And when I get that, all I need to do is remember to bring the bag. Really want to test also how it stores 32 ounce bottles and then those big foam bottles for you guys. Hopefully you can kind of see if it's going to work for you too. Gosh, dang. So as you can see, I got quite a few different types of bottles. Got this little foam bottle. I want to see if this fits. It barely does in the drawstring. So uh, the, one side, the one on the side ain't too bad. Um, you can also just throw it in one of these but you'd probably want to throw something else in there. 32 ouncer from IK. You could get it to work, but it's a little tight. If you just sit it on the bottom of the bag, works fine. If you're gonna use one of the IK sprayers, you gotta have it sitting right on the bottom of the bag. Got another 32 ounce sprayer. This is like a pretty standard bottle. You'll see this just about everywhere. A little tall once again. Eh, it'll fit, but it's a little too tall compared to the IK. And then for the Foam Pro or Multi Pro, same size. 
it'll actually fit pretty well, just barely on the bottom. So you can squeeze one of these in. But if you do have one of these, your polisher is gonna have a little bit of a harder time getting in there. You could probably get one polisher in there, maybe two if you're really you know, crafty with it, something like that. So you could definitely get two polishers in there with a large sprayer. <laughs> it's definitely possible, but it's not gonna be the most comfortable. You can fit the 16 ounce bottles pretty well. You got your foam bottle you can fit. The only one that doesn't fit is your standard 32 ounce. The one from IK does fit though, so. And then, you know, you got these straps in the back which you could use for polisher, compound pads, whatever you want. Pretty good. So the Voyager and Flexbag are actually pretty similar in size. The Flex is a little bit longer and taller and also has a flat top where the Voyager has that kind of um, triangular top. Flex was more expensive. This is the bag I would normally just use for just microfiber towels, but I just wanna show you guys how the different bottles fit in the compartments that they offer here. So 32 ounce does not fit in any of these compartments except for the side one but it's not that great of a fit, honestly. And I'd probably just recommend putting it at the bottom of the bag, like everything else. IK also fits. These 16 ounce bottles do fit in the side. I believe you should be able to fit one in each segment, but sometimes when they make these bags, it turns out that when you have bottles inside of these cloth bags, they tighten down the other ones, and it makes it really hard to fill all of them with the 16 ounce bottles. But these ones all fit, so you can get you know, three on one side, three on the other side, and then you have your two compartments on the ends, which I don't think they're too useful on the ends. It does fit a little foam bottle very well, and you can throw in an IK sprayer and you know lug all that crap around. So this would be great also for, you know if you need a minimum amount of chemicals, you'd probably fit a bunch in there and have a great time with that. <laughs> This bag certainly has a good amount of flexibility as well, but like I said, I just load it up with the microfibers like so. Get my drying towel in there, get my hand wash mitts, whatever, just load it up. If we go to the Bauer bag, this is the one I use normally for chemicals and you'll see why. You can see I got my paint protectant in here, maybe you can't see it, I'll just tell you about it. And it can fit two sprayers side by side, which is insane. I can fit up to four 16 ounce bottles on the back wall and there's room in here for a larger bottle but it gets a little too tight because of you know the other bottles in there, so it's not really great. But you can fit a crap ton in here. And that's why I like this one for chemicals is because I can just throw all the chemicals I need in here. Look, I've got like a million things in here. I could maybe fit another IK sprayer. I could fit like two more 32 ounces. Got a lot of options. I also got one filled with all my tooling. That just makes traveling with all your loot so much easier. Whew. So guys, as you can see, getting good travel bags for de mobile detailing is pretty important. It's a little difficult to do when you don't know if a bag is going to fit what you have correctly. So I'm hoping that I could kind of show you at least some bags have like usually will have a potential to at least fit most 16 ounce bottles. Like most of the different sizes and things, you know, you, you can... Like, I don't know where I'm going with this. I hope I was able to show you um, some bags that you could potentially use for your mobile detailing setup. These, you know, Bauer, the Voyager, the Flex bags, they all work great and they all do a very good job. You don't need to go to a specific detailing company to get your, your bags for mobile detailing. Usually they're gonna be more expensive. Like the Flex bag was about 40 bucks and you know, this big one was also about the same price. So choose something that works well for you. And obviously you could get really nice bags and stuff, but I think bags are just bags. You know, you're just using it to get from one point to another without having your stuff just go explosive. So. That's my philosophy on bags. Don't want it stuff to go explosive. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you know, you feel a little more confident in getting some bags for your detailing setup now. Maybe not these ones specifically, but you know, if you got something similar that you're looking at, you can rest assured it'll work for you. Detailers United, let's go. No, I'm just kidding. We're one bucket army around here. We out.